Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us on today's ultra, ultra rare video. We're talking about uh, some really, really low production numbers here on a beautifully restored car. Very correct all the way through. We have some really cool stuff as well as the deluxe Marty report that we had framed that we'll show you to kind of authenticate all of those things. So let's talk about this for a second. First off, the color. Wow, right? Grabber blue, the silver stripes, all detailed up kind of the way it's supposed to be with the Magnum 500s, the polyglass replica tire circa 1971, right? Um, before the radial tire really came out into American cars, these cars were the precursor to that. Front and rear spoilers, the long hood. This is a Ram Air as well. We'll look, look under the hood too, get to see some of the uh, fresh air induction. And some cool stuff about this car. First thing I want to talk about is the paint. In videos and pictures, the paint looks great, does it not? Yes. I do the video or we do the video so that you can see what the quality of the paint is because some paint is better than others. We're going to take a second, we're going to look at that and we're going to see the depth of it. But when you look at the paint, right, we're going to, matter of fact, let's just do it. So when you look at the paint here, you want to make sure that you read the letters in the paint. Don't look at like, oh, I can see it in there. No, I want to see how crisp the letters are. I want to know that the paint is what I'm getting. And it really is spectacular, spectacular paint. You know, I get excited talking about cars like this. We're talking about one of 21 built. There's only 21 Boss 351 Grabber cars out there. They were all four speeds, right? How many are left? How many are actually left? like this, right? A lot of them crashed, not matching numbers, not restored or whatever. This could be, I don't know that it is or it isn't, but this could be the only one that's out there and the likelihood of seeing that at another car show is pretty slim, is why I love this car so much. So let's take a peek here because restorations are all done at different levels. And so when you look at stuff like here where you have uh, the auto light rev limiter still here, right? You have uh, the power steering cooler in place, the correct decals, right? This car was built, believe it or not, this car has a lot, a lot of details built in for power, for racing and things like that, that uh, a lot of the other Mustangs never had, right? You think, uh, let me be like a Boss 302 had uh, the transmission cooler and a power steering cooler or locker rears and things like that. Uh, here we have the Ram Air as well, right? We're talking the 351 Ram Air, fresh air from outside cold dense air in there the detail is good forget the horsepower figures that you read they changed the way horsepower is rated in 1971 and so this car is significantly faster and i mean significantly faster than its horsepower is called out and i think because there were so few of them built these were kind of hand built cars that were very special and that's why i get excited and that's why i wanted you to know that all right, so the best part of this car is back here. And believe it or not, with the power and the sound that this car makes, a lot of people, this is all they're going to see if you decide to take them on. Anyway, uh, this spoiler here is adjustable, right? Um, and of course, when we're talking about a fully restored car, we're talking about all polished trim around here, new glass, right? This paint that we said was spectacular, new trim, new taillights, new bezels. And that's why sometimes when you restore a car, it can cost in between fifty dollars and $100,000 just for the restoration of the car, not counting the car itself, right? And then when we talk about the low production numbers of this is why this means uh, that it's maybe a little more special than others. So we're going to take a peek in here. And this trunk right here is done a little bit differently. So this has been finished, and all of this comes out if you don't want to, but the previous owner here put a nice stereo on the car because he loved music. All of it comes out if you don't want it to make it all stock. I thought it was great. I didn't change it because I thought, uh, first off, I like music. I'm sure you like music too. And having a nice stereo in your car while you're rolling through the shifter, right, makes for a great sound. All right, so come join me inside here because really this is where you're going to spend your time. This is a well-equipped cockpit. So for instance, when you say, well, well-equipped, what do you mean? Like, does it have a couple gauges? No, it has a lot of gauges. It has, instead of just having lights, it has temperature gauge, alternator, oil pressure, 120 mile an hour speedometer, 8,000 RPM tack, right? All that's there, including the clock. This has that upgraded stereo system in it. Looks all stock, right? Looks all stock. But in essence, it's a nice digital sound system uh, that you can work with as well. We have the stock steering wheel and the stock shifter for it, right? You've got a shifter ball. If you want, we'll install those back on there and put the stock steering wheel on, or we'll leave this uh, nice wood grain one here. It's just a nice touch. And then to finish off everything with the really nice seating. And believe it or not, for this year, there's a lot more room in the back. These little touches, like the starting instructions here, it's kind of cool. You go to a car show or something like that. Uh, it's always nice to show those things. Anyway, nice room, nice driving, great fit for when you're rolling through the gears, making things happen, right? And uh, uh, I think uh, when we start it and you get to hear it, you're going to love it. 
All right, so let's close up the video and run down just a few quick stats for a second. This is a deluxe Marty report, right? We don't make this. This is authenticated by the records uh, held by Marty, Kevin Marty, uh, of how this car was built. 21 Grabber Blue 351 Boss Mustangs. 21 of them. 149,000, almost 150,000 Mustangs made that year. The percentage is ridiculously low. Not to mention, not to mention how many are left, right? Even in the registry, there's not 21 of them in there, right? So anyway, just something to think about, the rarity. And again, this is one of those cars that continues to go up in value. You say, Tone, how could you possibly know that these cars are going to go up in value? And you're absolutely right. I am not a fortune teller. However, I do know this. The original window sticker of the car was $43.98. It's no longer selling for $43.98. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this bad A351 four-speed uh, boss. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you can get notified for future videos that we have coming out. And I uh, can't wait to go for the test drive.